Legendary architect I. M. Pei, who masterminded the famous Louvre Pyramid in Paris, has died at the age of 102. He died early on Thursday at his home in Manhattan. The Chinese-born designer was one of the 20th century's most renowned architects and was awarded the Pritzker Prize in 1983, considered the Nobel Prize of the architecture world. Liu Mingpei leaves behind the legacy of many iconic buildings across the world, including right here in Singapore. The gateway along Beach Road was completed in 1991, featuring Mr. Pei's signature use of geometric patterns. The Twin Tower development was designed to symbolize the gateway to Singapore. When seen from a certain angle, the buildings seem to create a two-dimensional optical illusion. The 52-story OCBC Center in uh, Chulia Street is one of the most recognizable buildings in Singapore's central business district. It was Singapore's tallest building when completed back in 1976. Raffles City, completed in 1986, that was a controversial design by Mr. Pei. Back then, many criticized that it was too modern for its surrounding area. Roland Lim has more from Hong Kong, the city with which the late architect had a special connection. Yes, Mr. Pei was born in uh, Guangzhou in 1917 and then moved to Shanghai when his mother passed away. His father, a famous banker, ran the Hong Kong branch of the Bank of China for a bit. So he was here in Hong Kong, but only as a baby. Uh, throughout his life, uh, Mr. Pei never played down his connections uh, to China. His children all given Chinese names. And when he won the uh, Pritzker Prize, the highest honor for any living architect, uh, he used uh, that uh, $100,000 award to actually establish a scholarship fund uh, for Chinese architecture students in China. But when it came to his work, uh, Mr. Pei was a committed modernist. Now, none of his buildings uh, could ever be called old-fashioned or traditional. Uh, his particular brand of modernism, clean, reserved, sharp edges, uh, were unapologetic and seemed to go against today's architectural trends. But he said what he valued most in architecture was that it stand the test of time. His manner as well, uh, being gracious but firm at the same time, made him one of the few architects that attracted real estate developers, uh, corporate chiefs, as well as art museums. Now, Mr. Pei has a special connection to Hong Kong. Uh, when he was awarded that contract to design the Bank of China headquarters here, his father, as I mentioned, uh, ran the bank in the 20s. Now, many say that he changed the face of Hong Kong's modern skyline uh, with that building, set to resemble bamboo shoots sprouting out from the ground. The Bank of China Tower was completed in 1889. That's the year the New York Times called Mr. Pei the year of I M Pei, the high priest of modernism. It was also the same year that Mr. Pei completed uh, the glass pyramid of the Louvre Museum uh, in Paris.